Hello, my friends. Uh, this is the video that I made on SoFi on June the 1st, uh, when the price of this asset was at $6.9. And uh, as you can see on this uh, video, we had and we basically have two major ranges. This sloping line and this one. We have uh, this range of resistance and this as a range of support. And we pretty much still have uh, two possibilities. First of all, we can go higher from the current uh, price and uh, we can break this range of resistance, retest it from the top as the range of support, and then we uh, could go even higher. The second uh, possibility is still on the table. We can retest the uh, lower border of uh, this formation as the range of support, then we might have a reaction, and eventually we also have to break uh, this range to the upside. I have to admit that we are extremely bullish, uh, so far is extremely bullish right now, but with the lack of news uh, we might uh, hover for quite some time inside uh, this formation. And let me show you its current price action. As you can see, we were at this point, and uh, if I uh, change a little bit the location of uh, this uh, pattern, you can see that we are pretty much uh, in line with this forecast. But definitely, it is not the case. To, it is not the case. We just retest in this range of resistance, and uh, we are hovering inside uh, this formation, as I already mentioned. And we have to uh, see a breakout. I have to admit that breakout is imminent. And guys, by the way, if uh, you follow my channel for quite some time, you know that I cover this asset uh, for a long period of time. And the win rate, my win rate uh, on SoFi's uh, forecast, is quite high more than 70% uh, uh, of successful uh, forecasts. That is why you can rely on my technical analysis as a part of your due diligence. On top of that, guys, if you want to know more about technical analysis, if you want to enhance your trading skills, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to join my Patreon account, where for the $35 a month you will be able to drastically enhance your trading skills. On top of that, for the first 100 subscribers I will do a giveaway, I will do a technical analysis based on your request on any asset that you might find. On top of that, guys, and it is the most lucrative offer, there is not so many people inside the Discord group. That is why almost 100% of my time will be dedicated to you. And it is pretty much one-on-one -on -one training for the value of $450 a month, but for the fraction of this cost, for just $35 a month. And I think uh, it is quite fair deal. So guys, uh, let's take a look uh, on the news uh, that uh, is uh, supporting right now the SoFi's price action. If you take a look right here, if you uh, take a look on the forecasts uh, from uh, the major analytic firms, you can see that uh, we have uh, an update that was uh, made just yesterday by BTIG Research. Uh, it is their first coverage uh, on SoFi and uh, they set a neutral rating. Let me show you their details. On Thursday, BTIG began covering SoFi technologies with a neutral rating, citing several concerns that could impact the company's stock performance. The firm highlighted issues such as potential credit trend problems, questions about capital levels and the possibility of increasing banking regulations as factors that may continue to affect uh, uh, SoFi's shares negatively. So guys, quite interesting uh, statements, because uh, these statements uh, basically fit to all uh, companies that are operating in this uh, banking sector or in this uh, one-stop shop uh, financial apps. And definitely, SoFi has a very strong fundamental position. They just uh, became uh, profitable and they uh, filed uh, two uh, consecutive uh, quarters of profitability. That is why I don't think that uh, these problems uh, might be quite uh, substantial for SoFi. And uh, the uh, increase in banking regulations uh, as the factors that might affect negatively SoFi stock is a nothing burger as well, because it will affect, if it happens, it will affect all the companies uh, on the market. But in general, I think uh, the next step uh, from uh, the uh, government uh, might be the relief in their policy because of uh, the changes uh, in uh, the Federal Reserve policy related to the uh, interest rates. That is why I think uh, their neutral rating is just the initial rating on SoFi 
and uh, we have to keep an eye on on other news that might uh, affect the share price uh, of SoFi. So guys, take a look right here. Uh, the consensus analyst price target is still uh, about 30, has still about 30% of upside potential with uh, 9.08 dollars uh, as a price target itself. If you take a look right here, we have 18 ratings in general, 5 for analysts suggest to buy, 10 to hold and 3 to sell. And here you can see that the lowest price uh, for SoFi is set at about 4 dollars and the highest at about 14 dollars. And uh, to be honest, I think uh, SoFi is uh, more bullish than bearish, and let me show you why I think so. We don't have a lot of changes in the list of institutional investors uh, who want to see SoFi in their investment portfolios. But according to the latest filings, you can see that uh, uh, we have uh, two new positions, and uh, these positions are quite substantial. One company uh, bought uh, about uh, $2.5 million of value, uh, invested about $2.5 million in SoFi, and the second one almost uh, $22 million. On top of that, if we take a look uh, right here on the SoFi technology institutional ownership, you can see that the latest month, uh, almost uh, the highest among all the previous months that uh, we have uh, on this price chart. That is why more and more institutional investors want uh, to invest in SoFi. On top of that, and in my opinion, this is the most uh, important uh, sign, uh, Anthony Noto, the CEO of SoFi, is consistently buying SoFi's stock, and as you can see, he bought just recently about uh, 28.8 thousand shares. Uh, recently, on uh, May 23rd, he bought again 28.9 thousand. And uh, uh, at the very beginning of May, he bought 28.7 thousand shares. So he buys uh, for the value of about $200,000 at a time. And uh, it is an extremely bullish sign because previously he also made uh, several purchases of uh, SoFi and uh, here at the basically one year ago, he bought plenty of uh, shares of SoFi. Guys, take a look right here. Uh, this is the uh, Twitter account of uh, Travis, uh, fun of investing. And here we can see the tweet that he published on June the 6th. Has anyone else noticed a huge decline in the quantity of SoFi news uh, over the past two weeks? It's been way too quiet. And guys, I completely agree with this statement and uh, it is not a surprise for me because from the technical standpoint, we are nearing the apex. And by the way, let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, if we zoom out, if I switch to, let's say, three hours time frame, you can see that uh, uh, we have, uh, if I connect uh, these uh, several tops, except this uh, spike, and uh, these several bottoms, uh, we have a very good bullish formation. It is a falling bullish wedge. And in the majority of cases, I would say uh, in uh, more than 80%, uh, we have more than 80% probability to see the breakout above the range of resistance and we have to see much higher price targets. And that is why, guys, uh, for now, I have to say that uh, uh, as long we are inside uh, this formation, we can see pretty much any type of price actions in here. But uh, uh, to be honest, uh, the breakout should happen to the upside. And uh, yes, it uh, might happen next week uh, from this very point. And again, we might have something like this. We might have the breakout to the upside, then retested from the top the same exact range as the range of uh, support. And we, have, we might have uh, this movement to the upside that will hit high targets. In this case, uh, we can uh, pretty much change uh, the location of uh, this formation and uh, we might, uh, let's put it this way, we might have this type of price action to the upside. And guys, as long as uh, this asset uh, is hovering inside uh, this formation, it is uh, pretty much the best uh, point where you can accumulate uh, your medium term investment position. That is why, guys, uh, do your own due diligence and uh, wait for the confirmation of its next uh, breakout. And uh, in my opinion, it will be to the upside with the more than 80% probability. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium